In this workflow, we're going to create a nurture automation to different lifecycle stages. So I've gone and created an enrollment trigger, and it is a form submission of this form, how to build a modern sales strategy. And what I'll do is I'll go down over here, I'll choose an action, well, I'll choose a branch, call the first branch an MQL because that's what a, um, a contact that has filled out a form for the first time is. And we are going to go contact properties. And at the life cycle stage is MQL apply. Then we'll create another branch, SQL, life cycle stage. SQL, oh, sorry, sales qualified lead, apply, and one last one, customer. We could do an opportunity, but you get the point. Right. So I now have my workflow with the different branches and to the MQL, I'm going to decide to send an email and I'm going to, let's choose one in a series. Ah, here we are, I've got a nurture series here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna send modern sales one to MQL. I'm going to send modern sales two to SQL and to the customer. I'm going to send modern sales three. And then none of them are met, I'm actually going to send them on a different journey and let's call it, I don't know, we'll, we will use Sales Secret Weapon 1. So what we've done here is just created a very simple journey based on lifecycle stage. Contact fills out this form and they sent a unique email that is unique to their current location in the buyer's journey um, and the communication will send them along um, more efficiently than just sending them one communication for each life cycle stage. We can then go add on successive emails to here to create a, a journey. We probably put a delay in here. Let's say the delay is four days. And then we might send them another internal email. Nice, easy workflow built around lifecycle stages. And then review and publish, and off you go. Test, keep an eye on it. These sort of things work wonderfully. Nice, customized communication.